Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 26th, 2020. Well, yesterday I was talking about the possibility of some volatility this week, but who knew we were going to kick that off the first thing um, yesterday. We saw a couple nasty whipsaws in the market, but ultimately the bulls defended support levels. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we take a look at the charts, look at some technicals, let's settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, yesterday we saw a little bit of wild action in the market where we saw the VIX temporarily spike up above a 26 handle, um, but eventually settled back down as those bulls rushed in to defend. Now, one thing I want to remind everyone that so far it has been a good practice to uh, rush in and buy the dip. That's been productive here so far. Please keep in mind, guys, I want to remind you of this. That will work until suddenly it doesn't. And those who chase in um, and continue to do that repeatedly, thinking that the market will never sell off, will eventually be burned hard when it does continue to sell off. One thing I want to point out is that we've seen a little bit of additional aggression by the bears here lately where we've had these um, big pushdowns. Um, bulls have been able to defend and hold that, hold these trends, but be, please keep in mind, it should just serve as a warning that the bears are still out there and they're starting to test their aggression here just a little bit more. So we're going to have to really stay on our toes, particularly as we wind up this earnings season so much data coming our way in the next few weeks that anything is possible. So let's take a look at the charts and see what we can see. Well, first off, looking at the Dow, you can see we're holding on to trend, and I didn't draw that line very well. I actually should have tightened that up just a little bit. We'll take a look. If I tighten that up just a little tiny bit in here, we held right onto that trend, um, finding that support, bouncing right off of that level um, yesterday in the Dow. And it looked for a little bit like things might be going the wrong direction. And then we finally grabbed a hold of that support. We saw a lot of institutional activity rushing into the market. One thing I want to point out is that yesterday we saw a significant increase. We've been seeing this volume decline away, that significant increase in volume. And we have to remember that a good portion of that volume was sell side volume. So be kind of careful here and just realize that the bears are testing the waters and they're starting to um, become just a little bit more aggressive. Now, what does that mean when we head into earnings? Well, what it means is should we get one of these big tech giants or something else that occurs in the market that creates a little stumble? If the bears are getting more and more aggressive, that little stumble could be turned into a substantial sell-off. So make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have a plan to protect yourself should that occur. Now, on the other side of the equation, should the earnings do very, very well? We certainly have the setup in here where we could just push right on higher, set new record highs, and um, you know nobody, um, nobody even wants to think about the other side when that occurs. So kind of keep that in mind. One thing I'll point out is price to earnings evaluations are extremely high. And so as we report these earnings, it's going to be really interesting to see if enough of these companies can actually support these high price to earnings ratios. If they can, hey, we've got more upside opportunity. If they can't, however, um, just take note that those bears are starting to show just a bit more aggression when they push back. Right now, we've got a nice little consolidating uh, price action move in here. You can see we've been in this range. It's been rather choppy. Pretty big price moves are possible in here. But we're trying to show that bullishness this morning. And as you can see, trying to follow through with that little hammer pattern with a little bit of buying coming in this morning. Now, um, overnight, there was some mix here. So we'll have to see if these earnings can truly produce and pick us up, moving us to the upside. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also 
did a really good job yesterday. Um, a lot better than that of the Dow. But as you can see, holding onto that price support, it is tenuous in the sense that we came very, very close to failing this area before those bulls came in showing that those bears are starting to um, add a little bit more aggression but what a beautiful pattern here so far and we're starting to get a follow through new record highs possible this morning in the spy bulls remain in control so we want to stay with the upside trend we want to stay in this bullish move but we always want to have that plan to to protect us should that sentiment shift. And we can see just how quickly that sentiment can reverse. So watch that closely. Bulls in control here on the SPY. And on the QQQ, this was the strongest of the indexes yesterday. And although we had a pretty substantial whipsaw in um, yesterday's price action, notice that we're trying to push back up this morning. We're trying to show that uh, bullishness here. Just keep in mind that we are rather separated from a price support. All of that selling yesterday didn't even come back to test that support in the price action or the trend here in the NASDAQ. So perhaps if we get that Microsoft report this afternoon and they produce very, very well, we could just zoom on higher. And one thing I want, want to remind you of is as these big tech uh, companies report, and they always report after the bell, um, we should expect big morning gaps and even that possibility of that morning reversal that could occur. One of those things that um, really puts us at a disadvantage as traders and going into the evening we can have a very very bullish market and see um, one of those tech giants stumble and end up with a very bearish look the next morning or vice versa we go in with a little bit of a bearish look or an uncertain look um, to the indexes and then suddenly just rip higher when if they report um, a good report. So anything is possible. Make sure you're prepared for those uh, potential whipsaws and those reversals uh, from those after the bell reports and plan carefully um, as a result. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM held up really really well yesterday considering that we've had just a little bit of a pullback or a little bit of uncertainty showing up in the um, energy sector but the financial sector continues to kind of hang in there so we're holding up here in iwm but just keep in mind how closely we are to this trend and through this area there's no real major price support in here until we come back into this area of the chart so if we were to slip here we could move pretty quickly so just watch that carefully let's take a look at our VIX now our VIX yesterday was as, as I continue to mention um, over and over we're really it, uh, really kind of perplexing that we're hitting new record highs and we can't seem to break down the VIX so this morning perhaps um, with the bullishness that we're, that we're seeing this morning, we will settle this a little bit more. But I'm not sure that we're actually going to settle it enough that we start to break down through these support levels and um, start setting some new lows in the VIX. And we really should be, if we're setting new record highs in the market, we really should be seeing that VIX pulling back. So this once again serves as that reminder that we're going to have to stay on our toes and really stay focused in on that price action because look how quickly um, that fear can spike up here in the market. Now again, I'm going to mention this, um, continue to mention this. I don't think we have a major problem here in the VIX unless we happen to spike above that downtrend and end up holding it as support but we're going to have to stay on top of it and watch that closely because setting up here in a 23, 26 handle at, at one point yesterday on the VIX is not a normal situation while the market's trying to push out for new highs. So keep that in mind. We're, we could be starting to see that little bit of um, uncertainty here cropping up and that brings in the fear. Let's take a look at our uh, T21 
22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And interestingly enough, yesterday we saw that selling come in. And at one point in time, we were pushed down in here on that T2122, showing that we were finally getting a bit of a pullback. But that rush back in yesterday pushed everything back up. And you can see we're still very, very elevated in T2122. And this is one of the longest periods of time that I can remember that we've been able to hold up here. We also should keep in mind that overall, our economy is not all that strong. Remember, we're still dealing with a lot of COVID. What's pushing this up is really stimulus and printed money creating um, that inflationary factor in the market. So watch that closely. If that sentiment were to shift, just realize that um, yesterday was just a little tiny sell-off compared to what could occur if we come all the way back down here. And trust me, folks, we will eventually do that. We will eventually break this cycle and we will come down. So make sure you're prepared and have a plan to deal with that should that occur. Let's take a look at T2101. This is also continuing to be a concern for me in that we're pushing to new record highs, but notice that we're getting less and less and less support by um, the overall stocks. We have fewer stocks pushing the market up. So as you can see, our overall market breadth continues to, de to decline here. We're reaching a low area here. So perhaps we can get some kind of boost out of this. Maybe it's the earnings that will finally boost that back to the upside. Watch that closely. We saw an increase in volume on the indexes yesterday but market breadth did not improve. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar is gonna have a couple things that we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to as we slide into this week. Take a look, we've got Case-Shiller numbers here this morning. Now this is not one of those that typically moves the market a ton and I suspect the market will be much more focused on earnings um, rather than Case-Shiller. However, we have a consumer confidence number as well. Right now, consensus is suggesting that consumer confidence has slipped back just a little bit. Remember, we've got um, unemployment numbers that have been rising, and we've also got um, those private payrolls um, showing uh, declines in those private payrolls. So you could understand why consumer confidence might pull back just a little bit if folks are struggling um, to maintain jobs. And also keep in mind that we've got all of those banks reporting more and more people are slipping behind on their mortgages. And um, that could be creating some pressure overall in the market. So watch that closely. Um, if that consumer confidence were to begin to slip, that could begin to have a little bit of, uh, show a little bit of pressure in the market. And then also remember that we've got a big day tomorrow. Um, we're gonna start off the day with that durable goods orders. Durable goods can definitely move the market. We'll wanna watch that petroleum status. And then we got the Mac Daddy of the week here. We've got the FOMC um, later on in the afternoon. So not only do we have to kind of prepare for what's happening today, we have to think ahead just a little bit what the market might be doing and what our risk carrying forward into the next day might uh, create. So watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look at... Um, uh, some stocks that, whoops, we better take a look at earnings here really quick. We have a big day of earnings reports today, a substantial number of earnings reports. And um, I'm going to cover a few of these this morning, guys, but make sure if you want to see the entire list of notables, click that link just below the title of this video. It'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get um um, a look at all of those that I think are kind of notable for today. So first off, let's take a look. We've got Starbucks. Starbucks will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. This has got an interesting pattern in here. Notice that we've got a bit of a head and shoulders pattern that is formed, but we're trying to form a little bit of a higher low right here. So we're, we're, in this little wedging pattern here, or a little pennant pattern that you might see right here, um, who knows which way this is going to go. It's like um, everyone's kind of holding their breath where um, Starbucks may 
uh, may go here. So watch that carefully as Starbucks reports. After the bell today, um, the big guy that everyone's going to be watching is what will Microsoft do um, as it reports. Notice that we're up here. We're in an area where we're testing a high, kind of a triple top uh, possibly setting up here, but we do have those rising lows in here. So um, here again, um, can they produce enough earnings to support these prices? We'll have to wait and see. That's going to happen after the bell. And just keep in mind that whatever they do will likely be a pretty substantial market mover. We could see that gap in the market tomorrow. We're also going to get earnings from 3M. 3M could move the market around just a little bit. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got Archer Daniel Midland. I mean, excuse me, AMD. Um, um, AMD reporting tomorrow or excuse me, today, we'll want to keep an eye on that. We also have uh, that ADM. <laughs> I was looking at ADM when I said that, but we also have ADM reporting today. It looks like it is moving up nicely here this morning. Must have had a good report. And we've been seeing a lot of those farm products, um, um, a, a lot of the ag producing um, stocks have been holding up really, really well. So keep an eye on that. We're going to see CNI. So we got a little bit of a railroad uh, report in here this morning. We'll want to watch that. Um, copper has been extremely strong. We're going to get word from FCX to see if they can uh, sustain or hold this really strong upside trend here in FCX. Um, j and j j and j reported well this morning and uh, beat estimates and you can see j and j moving higher here this morning let's keep a close eye on that this is a beautiful chart has been breaking out you can see i had a price alert on this a chart beautiful morning star pattern stretching on out now i wouldn't want to chase this at this point but a rest or pullback could set up an opportunity in um, that chart we're also going to get um, word from lmt Today, LMT has certainly been in an ugly little downtrend and we're testing. We rallied up here to test this downtrend, but notice that we're struggling right here this morning. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Texas Instruments. Texas Instruments is another tech that we're going to want to keep an eye on. Been moving in this nice upside trend, as a matter of fact, in a pretty substantial upside channel, as you can see. Let's watch and see how that performs today. So there's a few stocks. We're also going to get um, word from Verizon. We'll keep an eye on Verizon. We're going to see Xerox uh, today. So a lot of reports, a lot of things um, popping off here. So stay on your toes and watch pretty carefully as these earnings roll out. And it's only going to ramp up from here uh, for the next couple of weeks. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube or yeah, on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video was worthy, if you feel the video helped you in preparing for the day, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. You know, it takes quite a bit of effort to produce a video every single morning. And it, it's really nice to see when it is supported um, by you folks in those comments. It helps the channel to grow. And I want to say thank you to everyone that does that. Um, the channel is growing and I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few things that are perking up here, looking pretty decent. Remember that every time I talk about one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and stay focused on on your rules and your plan and your risk tolerance for your trading. Let's take a look here. Um, we're watching, I've been watching um, some of these solar stocks. As we know, um, the expectation is that um, the Biden administration will kind of clear the way for renewable energies. And we've had a, a tremendous rally in solar stocks. And I'm watching this stock up here. We're testing this um, level up here, trying to break through. Keep an eye, notice right in here, we're not really getting any selling activity. The sellers just aren't um, showing up here. So if we can get a little bit of a bullish push, we could 
maybe pop on through there, continue to extend up here. This is the solar ETF tan keep an eye on that we had some interesting moves yesterday in some of these retail stocks where they popped but then that whipsaw that we saw in the market gave them a a nasty little pullback but what i want you to note here is even though we have kind of a, a bearish candle pattern here with that uh, shooting star that shooting star is really not placed um, in a chart pattern that would create some major damage. Usually a shooting star you want to see after the top of a, a run up, not uh, just popping out of a consolidation. So that said, as long as we continue to hold this support in here and we move over toward this trend, keep an eye on some of these retail stocks like ANF holding up very, very well overall and um, that possibility that they could push on through. I would say the same thing about coal. Kohl's had a bit of a pop yesterday and pullback, but we're holding in that nice consolidating move, hanging in there pretty well. So watch for that opportunity for that to potentially pop on through. We want to keep an eye on some of these um, electric car makers. They had some moves going on yesterday. As a matter of fact, um, took some nice profits on a trade um, yesterday in one of them. I'll show you in just a second. But NIO continues to set up in this range in here. As long as we hold above this support level, hang in on that trend, we run that opportunity that NIO could push on higher, particularly if we get that bullish shot in the market. So keep an eye on that one. Um, NKLA, um, this is the one I took profits on yesterday. We had a nice little pop up and I had purchased the stock in here a couple of days ago and had a nice profit here. And when it spiked up, I thought, you know, I'm, I may be a little bit long this market right now. So I, I took some profits on that trade just before this thing pulled back. Talk about luck. But um, this is still holding up pretty well. And it, the possibility that we could buy back in um, on this is high. So watch that carefully, that possibility that we're setting up here and can still push on through. And I would say the same thing for Solo. Solo holding in here nicely, hanging in this nice little tight consolidation, that possibility that could push on through. So watch that closely. Last but not least, I want to mention gold and silver. I'm still a little bit perplexed um, where we're seeing, um, you know, bonds, um, bonds are trying to fall apart here just a little bit. And um, um, we could see some short going on in the bond market. Um, we're not seeing a big reaction in gold and silver just yet. So keep an eye on those gold and silver stocks. If we're going to print more money, it would just be logical to see these starting to rise. Not the case yet, but I still think I want to keep an eye on them. And just to give you a little bit of hint of where there is a little stress coming in, take a look at utilities. Now utilities should be a safe haven play. Um, but notice that we had a beautiful push here. Um, right way options picked up um, XOU yesterday. We've got good profits in this already and notice it's trying to hold up here today. Now please keep in mind when XOU moves this big there is that possibility of that resting consolidation or even a pullback toward trend. But um, nice little upside move and I picked this up as a longer term hold and a short term um, trade as well. So keep an eye on XOU. If we continue to see utilities spiking up there could be that little bit of move toward some safety coming in as the earnings roll out. So watch that close. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. This video is running a little bit long, so I need to get moving. I want to wish you guys all the very, very best, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Be safe, everyone.